and only three years older than Lawrence Harvey, who played her son. That happened a lot in her career. Roger Ebert said, Lansbury's Mrs. Eisley nominated for an Academy Award. He is one of the great villains of movie history. Pauline Kael wrote of the film at the time, it may be the most sophisticated satire ever made in Hollywood. The stars Frank Sinatra, Lawrence Harvey, and Janet Lee. Can you name the movie? 1 800 343 WCOV. 1 800 343 9488. Hollywood Post March, you sir. Here's the music. What's the movie? Well, I've been uh, chopping out dovetails here, uh, so you can see I've done the sides and the half blinds on uh, the front. Uh, this is the third drawer, and I just finished this, uh, the back one, which uh, has the uh, pins in it, so we'll see uh, how well it fits here. At least we'll try. That's pretty close. I don't have my dead blow hammer handy. Pretty good. So that's square, and we'll see if it fits in the opening. Well, I finished dovetailing uh, the drawers uh, together here. Uh, you saw me chopping out the sides uh, there before. So I've assembled the, the door, uh, the drawer, uh, but before I did, I uh, put a groove in uh, which is uh, three quarter inch deep on the front here and uh, three sixteenths of an inch deep on the sides and the way I did that was on a router uh, I have a slot cutter which cuts a quarter inch groove and I have different bearing sizes that allows me to uh, change the depth in it so I have a quarter inch deep one here and three sixteenths on the side because these are only seven seven sixteenths of an inch thick the back is uh, cut off so you can slide it in. So once I had done that, I had the bottoms, which were uh, glued up pieces of uh, pine here. We got three, two glue joints, three pieces. And of course it was rectangular to start with. So uh, I would lay it on top of the drawer like so, trace the uh, front on the inside and then I cut it out on a uh, with a jigsaw or bandsaw and then I put the bevel on the bottom here so there's a bevel about an inch inch and a quarter all the way around here and I did that with a, a bit a router bit that I have for uh, putting you could do it on well you could do the sides on a table saw but you can't do that on the table saw So it slides in like so, and we get it lined up with a curve, and that's it. So it's proud of the, the back right now, but uh, I'll cut that off and leave myself a little bit, probably a sixteenth of an inch along the back, and the bottom will be nailed in across the back here we'll put a couple of nails in to, to hold it in so that's pretty much it for the drawers um, we got to put the locks in probably next and uh, I'm still waiting for the hardware to come in so we, we can't uh, drill the holes and uh, and put the hardware in yet but uh, probably uh, work on the locks next <coughs> Well, I'm chopping out the uh, lock mortises now. So I use the uh, lock itself as a template. And uh, I have marked the, where the pin should be. And make it a little bigger hole there while well, we're at it. And uh, 
Just chop along the edges here. And the grain right here seems to be a little squirrely. So we'll uh, use the mallet to shave it off a little bit. Well, the hardware came in, and um, you saw me chop out the mortise for the uh, the locks here, and then with a, a hole saw, I then uh, was able to elongate it. And the reason I waited was so that I could uh, position the escutcheon plate exactly where I wanted, and then of course trace where the uh, elongation of the uh, lock hole uh, should be. And then I used a round file here to smooth it out and to enlarge it slightly. Then um, I marked out with a pencil where I wanted the uh, escutcheon to be marked the holes and then I used an awl to uh, pilot the, the little brass nails that go in here and uh, made sure that the uh, escutcheon uh, went on. I'll, I have a little brief video that shows how I drilled these out by setting the, the uh, drill table on the drill press to nine degrees and then uh, that made the drill perpendicular to the um, curve and I drilled the two holes. I'm drilling the uh, drawer fronts now, the curved drawer fronts at a nine degree angle for the uh, bales. It. You'll see in the, uh, well, if you look at the last time I made this video, there's a, a detailed video on how to drill those out. But anyway, they come flat. You can have them, uh, uh, the company, this is Ball and Ball, uh, they will pre curve them for you. But I use this device here, and it's uh, got a, a slightly uh, higher curve to it. And then I used a strap clamp on there, and they are then a little bit over curved. But then when you push them onto the uh, front, they lay down nice and flat. So with the uh, holes drilled at the right angle, then the posts sit flat. on the uh, back plate. I also bend the, uh, there it is, I put this on the block, the uh, bale on the block and uh, put the clamp on it and then bend the uh, tabs on the bale to the same angle. And they should fit right in there. So they hang properly uh, on the on the curved fronts, and then a couple of nuts in the back to hold them on, and we're all set. So uh, that's how I put the hardware on there. The result, uh, without the one drawer, 
is uh, right here. So that's how it's going to look. Uh, so the next thing is to do the sanding and finishing.